What's up, everyone? Welcome to the December uh, 7th edition of the NBA Injury Report brought to you by BetMGM. I'm your host, Adam Scherer. You can follow me on Twitter at ShipMyMoneyDFS. We have an 11-game NBA slate with plenty of injury news to talk about today. But first, be sure to click the link in the description below. Sign up and make a deposit at BetMGM. Place a real money wager and receive a risk-free first bet of up to $1,000 in addition to two free months of Stochastic Plus Platinum. Be sure to click the link in the description below to take advantage. Now, we did get injury news related to the Los Angeles Lakers. Anthony Davis and LeBron James are both out tonight. Patrick Beverly is questionable. We should see plenty of usage, plenty of opportunities for production from Russell Westbrook. You should see increased playing time for Austin Reeves, Troy Brown, uh, Thomas Bryant likely to start in place of Davis with Wenyan Gabriel also out. So the fringe pieces on the Lakers are going to look better. Thomas Bryant's going to project as a very good value, assuming he starts. And Russell Westbrook is going to look like one of the best mid-range plays on the entire slate. For the Indiana Pacers, this is the most difficult team to talk about right now. Tyrese Halliburton, Miles Turner, Jalen Smith, TJ McConnell, James Johnson, Kendall Brown, and uh, Traveling Queen are all questionable for tonight's game. Obviously, if all of these guys are out, you're just down to an Indiana team that basically has no bodies and you play everybody. But the big pieces, uh, if Halliburton is out and McConnell is in, McConnell's going to look great. If they're both out, we once again can go right back to Andrew Nemhard, who's played huge minutes and been very productive for Indiana. If Miles Turner is out, uh, remains to be seen what the starting lineup would look like here. Last game with him out, we got Benedict Matherin in the starting lineup. Isaiah Jackson still just played backup center minutes. Uh, Jalen Smith started at center, but Smith is also questionable. So uh, there's a lot of ways that could go. But if Matherin starts, he's going to look better. If Isaiah Jackson starts, he's going to look better. Uh, same there can be said for Jalen Smith. The one addition is you could also get O'Shea Brissett in the starting lineup. He's been playing big minutes for Indiana, and he's one of their few actual rotation players who is not questionable. So a lot of moving parts there, but we have sort of seen how it plays out when these guys are out recently. For the Chicago Bulls, Alex Caruso is questionable. He's recently replaced Io Desunmu in the starting lineup. My expectation is that if Caruso does miss this game, Desunmu moves back into the starting lineup and you potentially get a little bit more playing time for Goran Dragic and or Kobe White off the bench. For the Utah Jazz, Mike Conley is questionable after a prolonged absence. If he returns, we should see Colin Sexton head back to the bench. Maybe you lose a few minutes for Jordan Clarkson. One interesting change that we did see during Conley's absence, though, was that players that play different positions, Lowry Markinen and Kelly Olynyk in particular, also saw upticks in playing time. I don't think that was related to Mike Conley. I think that was more of a coaching philosophy change. Uh, probably as a result of Utah actually being a competent team out of the gate, which was not really expected. So I think you're still going to get a lot of playing time from Markinen and Olinick. Neither of those guys are really uh, negatively impacted by Conley either, but certainly a negative impact for Colin Sexton, assuming he goes back to the bench. And then you do potentially lose a few minutes for Jordan Clarkson. And for the Phoenix Suns, Chris Paul and Torrey Craig are both questionable. Both have said they are planning on playing tonight. If Paul returns, that will move Cameron Payne back to the bench. Uh, and make him essentially not playable. It also cuts into Devin Booker's production a bit. If Torrey Craig comes back, uh, we had Ish Wainwright start the first half last game. We had Josh Okoji start the second half. We had Dario Saric start previous games. None of those guys would be relevant whatsoever, um, and Torrey Craig would likely move back into an upper 20s minutes role for the Suns. DeAndre Ayton's going to look good one way or the other, uh, but Chris Paul in particular coming back does um, not, not Cameron Payne out of consideration, and it does make Devin Booker look look a little bit worse as well. So to recap the injury news that we are still waiting on, Tyrese Halliburton, Miles Turner, Jalen Smith, TJ McConnell, James Johnson, Kendall Brown, and Traveling Queen are all questionable for Indiana. Alex Caruso questionable for the Bulls. Mike Conley questionable for the Jazz. Chris Paul and Torrey Craig both questionable for the Suns, but both said they have going to or they both have said they are going to play. And LeBron James and Anthony Davis were recently ruled out for the Lakers, while Patrick De uh, Beverly is doubtful.